Now this is really only the second time I've been on this bit of ground. It's really only two small paddocks. But the woman who lives here is complaining about the rabbits chewing the life out of her garden. So uh, I'm going to try and take a few. It's a, another lovely sunny evening. And you'll see in a minute the first one I see is about 10 yards the other side of the gate. I bring the rifle up to take the shot and realise I haven't loaded it yet. So I work the bolt, bring the rifle back up to aim and take the rabbit. That's the first one into the bag anyway. The sun's starting to set and it's uh, giving everything a wee bit of a pinky glow in the background there. But of the first rabbit in the bag with a nice clean headshot. Now I haven't been out after the rabbits for a few weeks because it has just been so stifling hot. It really does make it a chore going out in full camouflage carrying a bag full of rabbits and a rifle in your hand. So I'm going to have to do a wee bit of catch up tonight and uh, see what I can get before it gets too dark. Now at the bottom end of the field there's still a few rabbits out and about. One of which looks uh, a lot darker in colour compared to the rest of them. Now I've made my way through a gateway into the adjoining field. I'm just going to have a wee squint up the hedgerow here to see what's about. And sure enough there's one or two rabbits. The closest of which is only about 15 yards away. And I take them a nice shot to the head. It's a nice three quarter grown rabbit, a nice clean shot, and I give his belly a wee squeeze. Now for those of you who have asked why do I squeeze the rabbit's belly? Well it's just to remove the excess urine from its bladder, because if you put it into your game bag, as the rabbit uh, relaxes and cools down, the muscles relax, it'll automatically lay a puddle in the bottom of your game bag, so this is just to, to keep the bag clean. Now just about 40 yards away I seen another rabbit in this long grass and I managed to take a nice clean shot on it but for some reason I forgot to press record. It does happen now and again but the fact I've forgotten to do it the night and forgotten to load the gun at the start I don't know is it old age? Am I getting a wee bit senile or something? But anyway that's the third rabbit into the bag and we'll head on and see what's around the corner. Now I've got within 50 yards of this rabbit here. The camera's having a bit of bother trying to focus through the long grass. I can't get a clear shot off so I give a few squeaks to get the rabbit to lift his head up. But as he does, I'm about to take the shot and he decides to go back into the hedgerow again. But sometimes that happens. Now I've made my way down to the bottom end of the field and guess who I've run into? Yes, the little black rabbit. Now I don't usually shoot black rabbits as some people believe that they are somebody's long lost pet and they might get annoyed with me shooting them when actually black rabbits naturally occur in the wild. I have seen quite a few of them in, in my years but I've never seen a white rabbit now. So I leave this boy well alone and let him hop back into the hedgerow again. Now I'm quietly making my way up the uh, hedgerow to this corner as I suspect there'll be a rabbit or two out along the hedge. And as I come to the corner I spy a, a ball of feathers in the ground. Obviously a, a sparrow hawk has uh, managed to catch a hold of a hedgerow bird and made a meal of it. That's mother nature for you. When I look up and realise that there's a rabbit sitting 20 yards away watching me the whole time. So slowly get myself into a shooting position. 
bring the rifle up for the shot, squeeze the trigger and no bang. I've forgotten to cock the rifle again, haven't I? So I managed to cock the rifle with it in my shoulder, get back on the aim. The rabbit's not moving, he thinks, oh I can't see him. And take a nice 20 yard shot. Another nice shot, just the base of the ear. And we'll give him a wee squeeze before we put him into the game bag. Hopefully before long the weather will start to cool down a wee bit and make it a lot more enjoyable to get out and about with the rifle. Rabbits don't like really strong sunny weather either. They'll probably be coming out very early in the morning uh, when it's a lot cooler and nicer. But for my first outing in this ground this year, I've got four rabbits into the bag. And uh, hopefully that'll uh, help stem some of the damage to uh, your woman's garden.